fire. Oh, snap. Hello, this is Killmon7, and welcome back to another episode of Bee Siege. Now, I thought the, the campaign was getting kind of boring, you know, like, I kind of wanted to get more into creating stuff, because that's what's really fun about this game. So here we are in the sandbox, and today I'm going to try to create um, an anti-air gun. Just, I, I don't know why, but that shoots kind of like two bullets chained together, so kind of like one of those uh, chain shots that rip apart sails that um, are used in, um, that used to be used in sea battles. So, yeah, I don't have any air to shoot, but I can shoot that statue. So anyway, I'm probably going to do a time lapse of this. Um, so yeah, let's start. Oh snap! All right, I think I got this pretty good. So, um, it only has one shot so far and looks ugly as I don't know what, but it does look ugly. So, yeah. But let me demonstrate its current abilities. So you can go into this first-person view, then lock the bottom when you get to the right place. Aim it up, turn on the steam cannons, then release the bullet. Hold on, that was a dud shot. As I was saying, do that. Lock it. Turn on. Release the shot. And it does that. It's beautiful. So, um... The only thing is that it's a little bit wobbly, so like, so you kind of have to constantly combat that, but it works pretty well. I mean, I, sh I might decorate it later, but I mean, this looks pretty good for now. Um, 
I want to work on it having multiple shots though, so I'm going to do probably a time lapse here too. Alright, I made it so it has two shots, so I'm going to lock the mechanism, turn on the firing thing, one. Oh, one miss, luckily we have two. Uh, hmm, I think I made it too heavy at the back, so that's the problem, it's always wanting to aim up, so actually, let's just do that. Oh yes, that's much better. Aim it up, press H to lock. Turn on those. One. Um, now aim down a little bit. Uh, Oh, I almost took out the whole tower. Um, these needs to be a little less like that. I think that's perfect. Let's just see. Wait, I forgot to lock it. Uh, lock up. Hmm. I don't know why it's not going as far right now. Oh, wait. I just realized that if I do that, it's going to be way more powerful of a gun. So you watch this. No, I don't even need to aim high, really. Oh yes, that was way better. It's still wanting to go back a little bit, so... Maybe this? I want to see how... I want to try to, like... I want to see what this looks like not looking, like, from first-person view, so... Fire those up. How far do these go? Whoa, that's pretty far. Alright, can, um, question is, can we turn this around? Lock it about there, and shoot this tower. Oh, that was too high aiming, how about... Um, hmm. What if I do this in third person? Because they seem to go, they seem to go pretty far. In third person, I don't know why they're not going that far as first, but, um. Aim it up. Yeah, um. It's looking like a pretty good angle right here. Hmm. Why is it not going as far now? Like, when I aimed it over here, and I went one. But like, look how far that's going. It's going all the way to those trees. Or maybe it isn't any farther, maybe I'm just like, I don't know. Can I make this more powerful with more guns? That is the question, so if I put... I 
like that and then like that and then this is this good is this gonna go farther now I might need to boost those blocks up those weight that weight block up on the back again but now it has four That's pretty good. I mean, this thing's not like maybe um I don't know, like hmm. I could guess I could put one like here, but that wouldn't work very well. I think one is pretty good. Let's do one last test. Um, can this thing? Whoa! Walk it. Aim it up. Well, I just kind of broke your houses, guys, but. Ah, I was hoping I could hit one of them, but I clearly can't, so, boy, this camera's trippy. Let's, uh, go back, aiming for them. Um, and then walk it, and then just kind of fire it, like, really close to the ground. Ah, uh, I was hoping I could kill one of them. I want to kill one of them. This is this is my life goal now. One. Oh, okay. Well, I can't do it with this thing, but I can do it with other things. First, let's save this as a again. Uh, save. Save? Yeah, there we go. No, I don't want to save. I want to load. Um, but yeah, like, some of these are... Like, I will work on that, probably that thing later on, too, but, like, when you got this stuff, it's pretty... Hold on, I have to remember the controls for this. Oh, God. Um... So you pull it back using N... I'm pretty sure. And then... You press H to do the rest. Alright, so is it N or M? Okay, and yes, it's N. So this... Well, I, I put a good... I put a good scope on this thing. Um... Does this have, like, a locking, um... Hold on. Just have like a locking mechanism. Okay, I need, I need to check. Right shift, alright. So when it's aimed up, I right shift. Um. Yeah, it's aimed up. Lock that in place. Actually aim it at the people. Um. Then undo that. Pull back this. One, two, three. Three shots, and then I'm gonna put it at like two percent regular speed, so we can see this in slow motion. Oh yes. What? Okay. What happened?
I'm confused. They got stuck to this aimer. Do the aimers... Hmm. Are the, like, aimers solid now? What if I just do one? Oh, I forgot to pull it back. One. And then, fire. Yeah, as you can see, it gets stuck on the end of that, so... What if I get rid of that? My camera's gonna be less accurate, but who cares? Because it might actually work. So aim that up. Um, stretch back that. Shoot, um, get ready all three bolts. And then, now we can slow-mo fire it. Oh yes, here we are. <laughs> like one hits. That was kind of sad, but... So, th I am just showing this. I'm just going to save this because I had to make a change. Yes, I want to save. So, um, I was just showing this because... As an example of, like... Um, like that anti-air gun thing might not be too good, but I can definitely improve it with, like, um, with different stuff, but, like, that's kind of an example of, um, building in this game and how cool and neat it is. So then, bring that back. I want to see if I can hit these rascals. Oh, yes. They're dead now. So anyway, I also, like, as you saw in my previ previous episode, if you watched my previous episode of this, is that, like, you can also make, like, walkers and stuff. So this episode is just kind of showing off the building mechanics of this game, which are really neat. In the next one, I might, like, you can, like, I might make, like, a walker or something, you know, but... I'm gonna be doing one of these every once in a while, just because it's cool, but... I might try out my, um, crossbow on what um, I mean, not crossbow, AA gun on one of the levels, but for now, um, I think, actually, well, yeah, I am going to do that, so, hold on, it, it, level select, what's this, the wrong levels, uh, Toberland, Duke's plea. Alright, so. I will load in my. Where is it? I have too much stuff. A A gun. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Hmm. I must have passed it. Oh yeah, it's probably on the, um, probably on the first page, me. Wow. Yeah, I know, it's, out, it's outside the box that you're supposed to build stuff in, just because I had to make it big. And, I, and, yeah. Oh, a lot broke. Let's aim this up. Engage the locking mechanism. I think that's engaged. Oh yes. Your castle just got anti-aired. Because castles are made out of air. There's one more that I want to try, actually. I'll select... This one, because it actually has, like, enemy air things. So, I will be very happy if I can snipe one down. Let's go for a farther looking one. Okay. Fire! Oh, snap. That was anti-aired. Okay, that was beautiful. 
like, I don't know. Alright, let's go for the, um, let's go for another kind of far one, um, here's one right here. Come on. I'm trying to get in the right place to engage the locking. Alright, there we go. Fire! Oh, I just missed it. Huh. Too bad, right? At least I sniped this one, which was amazing. Um. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to, um, end this episode of Besiege here. This thing is pretty awesome. I like it, especially with the chain shots, just because I've never done that kind of thing before. Get tracked, Yak. Hey, Yak with a bomb. Get tracked. Oh, no, I missed. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.